Welcome back. For the example, we have a cube. A cube right here, which is oriented in this way. So we have the three axes here. We have the x, y, and z axis. And for this particular figure, um, the length of the side of the cube is equivalent to 1.4 meters. Find the electric flux through the right face if the electric field in newtons per column is given by negative 2j hat. So uh, we are going to solve the electric flux that goes through this surface with an electric field of negative 2j hat. So if we have uh, an electric field with this unit vector, then the direction of that is on the negative y direction. So it may be coming from this part and pierced through this surface going to the left because the sign is negative. And let's recall the formula for the electric flux. And that is equivalent to uh, delta P is equivalent to the electric field cosine theta multiplied by the delta K. And since the area is given in terms of numeric value rather than um, a variable, then we do not need to use the integral uh, form of this formula. Rather, we will go directly into direct substitution. So the total flux now is equivalent to the E, which is uh, which has a magnitude of negative 2 and uh, negative 2 j hat cosine theta. The angle here is 0. And if we have cosine 0, that is equivalent to 1. So we're going to be using the dot product here. And as I've said earlier, since the area is given in terms of numeric value, we go directly in solving for the area of this phase. Using the dot product to multiply for the delta area, we have um, the area of this phase is given to 1.4 meter squared. And don't forget that the phase is facing the um, y direction. So the unit vector for that is equivalent to j hat. And doing the dot product, the electric flux that we can solve for he, we can solve is equivalent to negative 3.92. And then if we do dot product on uh, the same unit vector such as j hat dot j hat, that equates to 1. So our total flux is equivalent to negative 3.92 newton meter squared per column. So how about if the electric field that we are considering is equivalent to negative 3 negative 3 uh, newton per column I hat plus 400 newton per column k hat. So we have a different electric field based on the given. Same thing, uh, we will be taking the dot product of this E with the area of the surface we are considering. So the total area or the total electric, electric flux now is equivalent to negative 3 uh, newton per column I hat plus 400 newton per column K hat dot product of 1.4 meters squared 
and we have here we have here j hat. So taking the uh, negative three multiplied by one point four squared, uh, that is equivalent to zero because of their unit vector. So if we dot take the dot product of i hat and j hat, that equates to zero. And same goes with the second um, part of the electric field. So we have 400 newton per column k hat uh, dot product with 1.4 meter squared j hat that is equivalent to zero. Therefore, the total electric flux we can get if we have an electric field of negative 3 newton per column i hat plus 400 newton per column k hat is equivalent to zero. For the example, we have a particle of charge 1.8 microcoulomb is at the center of the Gaussian cube, 55 centimeters from edge. What is the net electric flux through the surface? We will be using this formula that relates the electric flux to the charge equivalent inside the, um, for this particular problem, the Gaussian cube. And then rearranging this, our total electric flux is equivalent to Q over EO. And from the given, we have a charge of 1.8 micro column at the center. So to get the electric flux, all you have to do is to substitute the charge equivalent which is 1.8 micro column divided by the constant EO or that is approximately equal to 8.85 times 10 to negative 12 column squared over Newton meter squared and with this we can solve for the electric flux which is equivalent to 2 times 10 rate raised to the 5 newton meter squared per column and that is the electric flux on the surface of the Gaussian cube.